up. Ah. All right, I'm coming. Wait, you need to make sure it's still. You can still hear my beautiful voice, correct? Uh, I can still hear you. Yes. Great, great, great. All right, good. Head engage. Just a state. Head engage. Need to adjust some audio. Oh, that smacked. Time is battling me. I can have good uh, sound channels. I know. Uh, yes. Death. Switch wings to make sure it opens this chest. But I haven't shown you my unihorn. What am I doing? I'll just don't you don't you that one skeleton you left behind. What? Just I, I missed. Said so I don't like talking about it. Oh, of course, in the plague times. Yes, 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 do it. Yes, which more louder than I wanted it to be. Here I am. Oh my god. It's a, it's a kind of Did we get Casey? He's phone, he's phone dangling. Telephone. Uh, he's phoning it in, like always. Phoning it in, I see. You should be able to hear him. Yes, I can. This thing's in the middle of Or when you explode, I shall... Oh, a golden one. No, a, a green one. Uh, resource gallery? Yeah, over here. Joins the crusade. And Hala joins the crusade. How did I... How come... Thing did not do things? Oh, we just beat that one. We're going to go to... Uh, either the Bound Shannon or kill... Sethysis. Sethysis. So kill some types of Twitch, Twitch, Twitch TV. I vote Bound Shaman. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Twitch. What? No, but I want to just Shatai Tethys. No, I'll go to Shatai Tethys. There we go. Do I go this way? Through the, de the Death Gate? Is that where I go? Is that, is that what it wants? No, 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 no. It wants this. Shanel. Ah, that's, okay. It's great. It's scary. Great. Hello, I'm green. green. The spray of the hedgehog. There we go. Game is. Okay, good. You can stay Oh, uh, 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 teleport. Stay a while and listen. There's stories of Shaw and the Dance of Red Man. Alright. Is, is this our anime opening theme? Yes, it is! This is? <laughs> You guys should be able to hear that fairly convincingly now. I I heard it quite well, in fact. I was vibing. Yeah. Was slashing. There. Was Why are we even here? Uh, ah! Because... You threatened the unihorn. Hey, Becca, I found the unihorn. You found a unihorn? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, apparently, I already killed the person, so we're actually dead. To go through. You can what? just teleport to me. Why did directly. I do that? I've done this. TP, Unihorn, activate. Oh. 
Your butt smells like the dying stars. Break. Why are you so fast? What is this? What's happening? What is this? Ah, Unicorn! Unicorn, engage! Allah! Oh, I just. I charged into a pot. I have found the way. There, see? Look, the Unihorn. Oh, fine. I was going to give you a moment, but no. All business with the Demon Hunter. My contract only <laughs> gives me a time of 3.7 seconds per day to appreciate the finer things. Uh, she seems no, to say. I just... But no. if you don't care about the Unihorn, all right, you speak up. No, I do. Okay? You where, speak where up. You say words. Oh, you have that one. I yes, see. it's the Unihorn. I must kill it. No, 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 Unicorn, quickly. Ah. <laughs> you will not have the equestrian stake. Oh, its town portal was delayed. Uh, how, how dare you? Uh... <laughs> That's the wrong one. You bring upon worked. my wrath. <laughs> I, I, I did a town portal right as you did that. So. <laughs> oh, Becca's singing. Okay, I just... I have postpartum depression. My pants are dry. My snakes on rice. My pants are moist and damp as well. Lemon juice. They have the gonorrhea now. There you go. Yeah, that's what it does next. Are we doing more bounties or are we doing something actually fun? Hold on, we're we might almost be done. It might be worth looking. We got the high heavens to do. We just have the high heavens. Let's do the high heavens. All right, all right, all right. I was doing it because I told you I wasted all of my resources trying to make necromancer crap, and at the end of all of it, I was like, well, turns out only one of their builds works. And I need to fix, get the stuff for that again. I that heard the squeaky lunch. little tones. There he is. Ah. Do you not do the thing where you just, like, build up a, a pool of blood shards and then just go gamble at uh, what's-her-face? I do. I go throw them a lot, but she's a bitch. I mean, yes. It's And if you can, you tend to have better luck if you just upgrade rares. Really? Oh, yeah. I was I, I was slain by a hellfish. Literally, the ground was fine. Like getting his weapons, since there's so few specific sides, it's just easier to do that. And sometimes she just refuses to give you the stuff you want. Like it's true. I guess I've just done it for so long that it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so I was just trying to get stuff to work. It wasn't working. And also a lot of set converting. Ah. So once she gives you the thing, it's always the wrong thing, and you just try to make multiples. I, I do that one a lot. But it doesn't tend to get me good. Yeah, I had I, I got the new set for the Necromancer, and I had like five, pal five pauldrons. So I just, one <laughs> at a time. <laughs> just That's Game just kept giving me pauldrons. But, but desperately, I need more death spreads. Which I think should drop whenever your friend dies. Which would be too Which weak. it did. Totally cool. Because I, because I died. Yeah. Uh, Hellfishers of death. No. I mean, we can just do a bunch of. Uh, ah! <laughs> Nephilim rifts. That should get us. It's Plenty. not that big of a deal. Like it's. Oh, yeah. It's That's just annoying that I I went through all of my stuff. For a build that was mediocre to the extreme. Mm -hmm. And kind of annoying. Like, it's cool. I see how it works, but which it wasn't... one did you go for? I was doing the Rathma one after I did the Pestilence one. Was... Is that the blood one? Yeah, the Pestilence one's the one where you use bodies, and it's just not strong at all. Oh, see, that's the only one I've gotten to work. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It did not work well I at mean, all. I mean, granted, she's like not anywhere near the level of any of my other. 
uh, high tier stuff. But. Yeah, once I'm gonna get it to work, I need to go and make a new necromancer so I can have sexy necromancer. Sexy girl. Oh. Necronka monster. Well, if, if you look, I put it to you that the necromancer is the sexy lady of all of them. Yes. The I mean, necromancers, yeah, they got that, that the, hot goth look. Yeah. The, ne sure. the necromancer man is potentially the grottiest man that they've created. Aside I mean, from the witch doctor, but that witch doesn't really doctor. count because nobody <laughs> plays that. <laughs> nobody plays nobody the plays witch that. doctor. <laughs> But yeah. He played the witch doctor. I don't know what to say. Bum, bum, bum. I feel like the, the it's just there's a disparity there. She's like, mm, look at me. I'm sexy. Uh, yeah, she, I mean, here's the thing. Goth girls are a lot hotter than goth boys. So... <laughs> yeah, because goth boys are twigs. <laughs> goth boys are uh, very cringy. <laughs> Whereas goth girls, somehow, you can almost forgive the cringe. <laughs> some, somehow skinnier than the goth girl. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. Yes, they're like, how did you, how were you able to wear those pants? I don't Girls understand. Are usually kind of weird. Oh, Jacob, <laughs> I woke up and I found, you wearing my pants today, Jacob. I, I said that and Joe just looks at me with this disappointed look. <laughs> It's because Joe is a goth boy. <laughs> he was not. I think he's just remembering that there's this horrible video on YouTube that is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> I just, I, I just like that, that, that narrative of, of maybe a goth boy and a goth girl get together and they're like, hmm, you're dark, I'm dark, let's be dark together. And then one morning they wake up and she breaks up with him because she's like, this is the fifth time this week that you've gone to work in my pants. I'm sick of tired of it. I need those. Or she's like, you're always using my black hair dye. Buy your own, you worthless bum. <laughs> it's your own eyeliner. And then you're the best sad, sad for it. Yeah, and then the best part is that he's he's just homeless because he thinks that's what he's supposed to do. But then she gets up and goes to work, but she works at like a, a boutique pancake grill. That's really, really chipper. And they make her wear like shorty boot boot booty boots. So she sits there the whole day, is like, oh my gosh, this is the worst. I watched that just happen. Unbelievable. Oh, did you? Oh. <laughs> trying to trying to town portal and a slow beam of death <laughs> meanders across, and I watch it coming. I'm like, no, I'll survive that. Dead. Unfair. <laughs> Eat oh. cheese for lunch. Eat cheese for lunch. Eat gouda for the lunch. In France, it you eat all cheese. Eat drink wine and drink wine and booze. Ah. Get drunk and go to work. Something like that, right? Yes. Yes. I would hear that's exactly what that song sounds like. That one's my favorite. Is that, is, hold on, I'll do the thing. Ah, none of these are worthwhile. Wait, wait, wait. I can. Oh, okay. Okay, it's backwards, so I gotta, I gotta turn it the right way. Turn it the right way. Now, get ready. Would you like to play a game? I want to play a game with the Unihorn. Why its name is Fluffy Bits. That's my favorite one to do. Well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> For clearly. Clearly. All right. Let me let me see here. I need to put away all of my eighteen million gems. I ran into a conundrum the other day because I needed to, I, I was just going to upgrade a bunch of uh, rings and stuff since those are too expensive from Bloodstone Lady. Mm -hmm. And I had previously upgraded like a shitload of amethysts. And it turns out you need the, you need the Marquise amethysts to make gem, those rings and shit. Yep. That was kind of annoying. Wait, wait, what do you mean upgrade rings and shit? What are you talking about? 
uh, in the cube number page number one, two, three is Hope of Cain, and you can upgrade a rare item, make it a legendary. It can be a set, it can be a regular legendary, it can end up being primal, it can be whatever. I'm no longer oh. concerned that you completely used up all of your resources. <laughs> oh, you understand now? Well, that I didn't... Mean, now you that feel didn't I will dance on your despair. To be fair, though... Dancey dance. I, I don't ever use anything except the first page. <laughs> I do the dancey dance. It says it says transmute failed. I tried to upgrade my rings and my amulets. And tried they to have to be it. rare items of level 70 or up. Level 70. Oh, they can't be set items or legendary no. items already? No. That's You use the reforge legendary or convert set item on those things. So if you have a set item that's more than two items, you can convert set item and roll to change it into one of the other ones reforge legendary just kind of like re-rolls the stats of a legendary item is augment an ancient item any good yes so so if That's... i have like a set of gloves from one set and i need it for another set i can reforge it and no, have a chance it'll, to have it'll be the set. same set it'll be within the same just set. different item in the same set yeah, yeah. but it means oh. it means that you can go to the blood witch lady and like buy a bunch of like pauldrons and end up with four of them and end up with basically a whole set because you just you just change the set interesting becca uh as the aware of this the last thing the augment ancient item that's pretty much how the only way you can push into the much later game with shit <laughs> and yeah, that's i've done it on a few of my things to make that matter yeah i don't think i've got any on this guy actually you probably so what, what does that one do it, it gives you, basically adds an additional primary stat to the item. So, for example, my Heart of Iron is has a 300 plus vitality stat on it, and that's from Augment HM item. So normally it would have just had some strength, some vitality, and some resistance, but because I did that, it has strength, vitality, resistance, and 300 more vitality to it. Oh, and then I need a plus 50. G oh, that's yeah, right. that's the that's one. Right. That's that's what I spend most of my time doing is try to level up stupid bullshit gems that I don't need anymore. It's a pain in Damn. the ass. Because to do it for armor, which is the most thing you're going to do it for, you need them to be level 50. Oh, speaking of, I'll, I'll be right back. What? I, I'm. He's uh, left. You, I have to get the dude. <laughs> I have to get Tricky Troy. For for farming? Is that what we're doing? No, I, I, I need to gamble. <laughs> oh, he's just set up with the uh, magic find? He's, he's just, I mean, look at him. Oh, boy. He's an absolute unit, but he, he needs a few more things, specifically a scythe. I cannot afford that. Son of a biscuit. Oh, you just have like the full Anaria set on him too? Yeah. The the build for Anarius generally just tends to use the full Anaria set. Mm. But I need to get a, a specific scythe. And it keeps giving me the scythe of the circle. Which is hardly a scythe at all. I put it to you. It's it's a circle on a stick. Oh my god, it's doing the thing. I've gotten can I, can I tell you can I tell you that you're wasting a ring slot with this individual by using the ring of royal grandeur when you have a full scenario set? Oh, it's I I know he's not fully set up. Mm. He's he's well and far from that right now. Mm. I haven't i I've done literally nothing with this guy in this set. I'm just trying to get his stinking scythe. And it won't give it to me! What is the scythe called? It is called... Let me open up my build. Wait, why do I have two... Oh, it did open up Twitch. I just, I just didn't see it. I need... Uh, Nair's Black Death. Which actually... Oh my god, it might be a double-handed scythe. That might be the problem. <laughs> that would explain oh, a lot. <laughs> Hold on. We just made some. Hold on. Forge. Mm, 
two-handed scythe. Wait, are there two-handed scythes? Yeah, I think or so. Just in yes, two-handed there are. We're, we're two-handed scythe. There it is. So I'm just gonna make like ten two-handed scythes. Again, I'm just gonna make like ten two-handed scythes. Oh, I did get my first my first primal ancient. There you go. Got a boy. A remorseless that I'm not gonna do anything with. Yeah, I just save it to put give it to the dork. Oh good. I am officially at the point where I can no longer put anything into my core abilities. They are full. Right, come on, baby, give me the goods. What is this garbage? Don't you realize I already have that? Oh my god, is that it? Yes, thank you. What does it do exactly? Each different poison skill you use increases the damage of your poison skills by 87%. Alright, now... It goes in the box! Lovely. Quite lovely. And I believe the next thing I need for this guy is... I need Wisdom of Kalan, which is a necklace. So if any of you guys get that, please hand it over. Or else you will not have a good grave. I will poop or in shall, it. You shall the corpse exploded. I will poop in it. I will poop in it a lot. <laughs> I should be called HMR Poopenmeyer. Hot, stanky load man. Well, just whatever you're ready, me and uh, dinosaur, I guess. I, I'm, 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 oh, sorry, it's, uh... All right, let's see how. Let's see if Becca turns it into a walking simulator, or else we're gonna be a team. Just a regular one. Which I think. So I think it's. I think it's the equivalent of maybe like two torments higher or so. I think it feels it feels like when you add a person it, it ups the level by about one. Oh. Holy crap, what was in that? What did what was that thing you killed? <laughs> it was one of the blue um goblins uh. that splits into a shit ton. That makes sense. <laughs> oh those are the good ones. I like those. Oh my god, there, there's oh, the rest of them. Of them. What? You were so sloppy! Oh, Becca! We don't let those escape. We ah, don't let it. those escape. It's in the manual. I thought I got him. You always, always, always see, don't see the small ones. You just have to keep hitting the ground until they all explode. Jesus, you're a speedy bitch. Uh huh. Look how fast she runs. Run so fast. How do you run so fast? That's just um, that's I have not even my shadow power on. Oh, you have it a... okay. Forever and it, uh, oh, that's right. It Never mind. Movement speed. Never mind. I'm slightly less impressed. I didn't know you had your shadow gift. Yeah. I was thinking like, wow, that's just how you run. That's pretty dope. Yeah. No, I'm usually slower. Oh, oh, I was... get 100 <laughs> shadow power forever. The demon warrior's like, yeah, I, I'm very flexible, but I don't do a lot of cardio. I just stretch <laughs> at yoga. Oh, well, that's not it. Not ready yet. Hello. I have become a god. So I I, I watched uh the newer Doctor Strange movie yesterday mm -hmm. with Mike and Mike and Wendy. That movie is gory. Uh-huh. Lots of people die in that movie. Like uh -huh. 
like, badly. <laughs> yeah, huh? Captain Britain gets cut in half. That's ridiculous. I am personally fond of the one who, uh, with the, the, the voice like, guy, voice quirk, yep, who yep. pops his Not brain. Quirk. That's a completely different. I should. Yeah. <laughs> yes, pops oh, his yeah. brain. <laughs> Freaking blows his own dome up. He's messed up, man. I'm slightly surprised they got away with PG-13 on that. That I, looks I like they were really. Too, but it's not white R material. Yeah, yeah, I think they were really skirting it. I'm betting there was probably a lot more they wanted to make to make it R, or at least but there was Disney's probably. Not gonna let them yeah, do I bet there were a lot of those deaths that, that there was more film. There was more to it. <laughs> yeah. That was cut in the in the final. <laughs> Well, there's biscuits and beans. Biscuits and beans, why? Overburdened? You gotta be shit. Raid his body. What the hell is in my inventory? Get out of here. Mm. And I did finish watching Obi Wan this morning. What are your thoughts? I liked it. Okay. I am pleased with it. Uh. Felt like something was missing, but but a faithful addition. I like. I'm not gonna hate on it. Generally, I think it was good. I didn't like it at all. You didn't like it at all. Why not? Too much. Too much emotion. No. Um. It basically took all of the source material and shadow all over it. So. Mm. And by source material, I mean, you know, episodes one through six, because it makes literally no sense for, um... For that whole situation to happen? Yes. Yeah. More or less. Because, yeah. um, like, first of all, he's supposed to be protecting Luke. I don't give a fuck if, um, Bail Organa calls him up and says, hey, you gotta go find Leia. How is sending a the most wanted Jedi in the entire galaxy the safe way of getting your daughter back without drawing Darth Vader's attention to her? Yeah, that doesn't make How a lot of sense. How is that your answer? Number two. In the fourth movie, Leia, when she was calling out for help, did not at all say, Hey, you mm -hmm. saved me when I was ten. Yeah. It'd be really nice if you could save me again. She, in fact, made it sound as if she'd never met Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I feel like getting saved from literally Darth Vader and the Grand Inquisitors at a young age would be very impressionable, you know? So I'm like, I'm going to be she honest, like, remember this. That I, I find that annoying as well, but given, given the state of the, the movies, I'm not over I'm not I've I've gotten to the point with myself where I can say I can't get too upset about this because Disney's going to shit on it all they want. <laughs> See here's here's my problem. I am going to get upset about it because I refuse to give Disney my money for absolute shit. <laughs> like it was such a bad show. Like episode what was it? It was the one Casey. Oh, that was Becca. Oh. Hey. Um <laughs> I got exploded on. It was the one where um, Leia was in the in the Inquisitor's compound, and they had to bust her out. Mm -hmm. That entire episode was completely just like there. It made no logical sense. Oh, the, like, the idea that they could just basically walk in. <laughs> yeah, and then he's like the only man there with a beard. In a military. Oh, facility. yeah. And he walks into the big group and they're like, 
That's fine, I guess. And he's Me. just wearing a trench coat that very clearly has a child under it. Like, yep. it's not even... And he, they don't show him, like, using Jedi mind tricks to, you know, make it so mm -hmm. that, no, it's fine, don't just look the other way. You know, he doesn't even do that. And then it's like, there's no fucking way that the one Imperial lady that was helping him, mm -hmm. she was in the quietest room in the entire building in this huge, like, loud whisper. There's no way nobody else heard her in that room while she was hacking the computers. There's no way nobody else noticed the dead body in the back. <laughs> this is, <they're, laughs> like, they were playing Diablo back because they were really in, involved. Yes. Uh, um, it, it is full of plot holes, but generally I, I liked seeing some more Star Wars. I've been, I think if I had to say, it's probably because the movies were shit. So, I don't know. I'm just to the point where I'm like, I almost don't want to go see anything Star Wars anymore because it's just like, it's not going to be good. I and put it to you, though, that The Mandalorian and Boba Fett are fantastic. See, I heard that Boba Fett was not good. I liked it's, The Mandalorian. It is not as great as it should be, but it is good. I liked it's The Mandalorian. Probably because I Boba Fett is scene... not the person people want him to be. Yeah, I was gonna say, one of Joe's main issues with it is that they took Boba Fett, who's definitely not a good guy, and they tried to make him into, like, a hero type? Well, they, they gave him moral standards. They made they tried to make him an anti-hero, and he's got moral standards. So that's what I would imagine is the biggest fallback on that. But, all in all, it felt like more of the Mandalorian, and so I enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I saw one scene... Because I haven't actually seen it, I've just heard it's bad, and I didn't particularly care to watch it in the first place. Um, but I, there's one scene with like a biker gang in Tatooine, mm -hmm. and they're all wearing like um, hella modern-ish clothes. And oh it's wait, like, okay. is it the, is it the is it the biker gang biker gang or is it the millennial gen z biker gang it's the the millennial gen z biker yeah. gang those ones on kind of suck colored... <laughs> well because it's like okay number one just just think about the location that they are in in the story they are on tatooine a fucking dust ball with no moisture to the point that you have to farm moisture in order, order to survive there so how on earth does it make sense that in that that planet that environment there's some girl there that's like paler than pale wearing oh. like all black mm -hmm. leather. She's gonna get fucking heat stroke walking out the door. And yeah, she that, would definitely not be that white. <laughs> that was that was the ever present in modern television uh you know, hey look, you can be different concession is what that was. It's it, it was I... one of the it was one of the grossly forced social issue like additions you know what i mean yes yeah and it that's was bad i don't <laughs> like it i don't care for that in what i like to watch i don't like it in um, anything and it's in everything and then and then they had all of their all of their like what am I supposed to, uh I speeder heard... bikes were like brand spanking new looking perfectly clean and i'm like how the fuck can you afford the water to keep that clean oh like no, are no, people I think, really letting you just walk around i think what you mean bikes? becca is how the fuck could you afford to get those when the first thing that happens is boba fett shows up and tells you you should be working and you say there's no work <laughs> so it's just that they had just have money it just have it somehow yeah i don't i don't know like yeah. there were a lot of that kind of thing and then the whole thing with um obi-wan is it's just number one the story didn't make any sense so like what was the point in even telling the story because like there's Wait. no like there was no purpose in telling the story that they did because there was absolutely no reason that story would have ever taken place yeah and then it's all about it's just like that vader scene baby just I mean, getting that to vader see scene vader was cool but also, why the fuck is uh, Obi-Wan just leaving Vader? Like, he's not going to kill Vader? Yeah, like, see, that part specifically doesn't make sense because that's he the... He literally left Vader without his entire, like, 
sustainment suit functioning, and he didn't just decide, you know what, you're too evil to be allowed in the universe, I'm gonna just end you right now. No, the thing that bothers me about that is not that he could and didn't, it's that he goes through the whole process of saying, oh, my friend is actually dead. So he finally it supposedly gives up the hope that he can be Anakin again, and then walks away. That's what bothered me about that. Wait, are there are there now more than like um, part six or whatever of the movies? Of Obi Wan, where he, you know, it ends. He like goes down there, stops the ship from. No, leaving there's just the six leaving. episodes. Yeah, it's only six episodes. Oh. It ends with him. Well, it ends with him fighting Vader and then running off back to Tatooine and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like oh, someone's doing. It fireworks. left a very sour taste in my mouth watching Obi Wan, and it's to the point where I'm like, you know, I don't know if I want to watch any more Disney Star Wars because I'm just disappointed every time. Hey, who hasn't done their upgrades? Oh, that's yeah, probably me. You nerd. I did mine. You turd biscuit. <laughs> I forget she's there. Incredible. I've got... Borsky's chip is at 89. <laughs> that's not what I upgraded. It, it only has 1%. I have to do like over 90s to get any chance of upgrading that thing. Well done, chap. Quite the, it's quite the how do you do. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't like Obi-Wan like at all. I, I was really predisposed to like it, but just not even considering it as a Star Wars show, just as a show, it was so shit, I just couldn't get behind it. Yeah. I agree. A lot of it did not make sense. Just event-wise. Can just, you guys why give would me a minute happen? to, like, destroy my stuff before you start these games? <laughs> Well, you know I what? Know. We all did ours. <laughs> Look, I don't know what just happened, but I just got destroyed because Becca was trying to destroy things. I don't know what what you think. Why, what are you like doing other things? I, I've been you, trying you, to talk for like. <laughs> you can't talk and move your hands. No. I got a bunch of new versions of the set I'm running and I need to justify to myself oh whether my... they're worth it. <laughs> no, they're not. If it doesn't say ancient on it, it's not worth it. I'll tell you that. At this point in your life, that's all you're looking for because you need to augment it with good chunks. And also, oh my god, who blew out these laser beams? What kind of dumbass? I thought we banned these. If Diablo... Uh, taken from the ah! If Diablo, oh. if Diablo 3 was a board, it was a card game, they would have banned laser beams. And I gotta remember to pop my, my Law of Valor so you guys get health back when you hit things. Mm, I enjoyed that. And if you folks want, I'm more than happy to hop over to D2. I'm good either. I'm good with this. I can't go back to that, man. You can only jump twice. <laughs> but you can jump through the ceiling and over walls, so that's pretty cool. Sponers. Yeah. I'm spinning well, the back I, around, I you big like, nanny. I did not like the Obi Wan. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I, I also watched the No Way Home Spider Man. That was pretty nice. That one, I I liked that one a lot. That was good. I told Wendy my favorite part was uh, self help Tobey Maguire. The whole movie, he just talks like a guy who's trying to help you get through your problems. He does. It's hilarious. He's he's the he's like Spider-Man, but he went on a road trip to promote his new self-help book. <laughs> oh, 
Hey Becca, have you seen the potion that's the that's Cool's aid? I have like 15 of oh, every okay. potion. <laughs> all right, fine. Just saying. I hadn't seen it and I found it, and it's just all it says is let you break through walls. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, my pony's just sitting there like, mm, mm, mm. I'm a farm animal. Did uh, Mike and Wendy like Obi-Wan? I assume they've watched it already. Uh, I have not had a chance to actually talk to them about it because the last time uh, it came up, I said I haven't finished it, so they don't spoil it for me. Ah, gotcha. They probably, yeah. they might have. I'm, I'm willing to bet. On top of everything I'm willing to that. bet if anything, Mike has some thoughts, because he vivid, he he straight up hates number eight, and <laughs> <laughs> and that makes me the think. The only person I know who doesn't is Colby, and that's one mark against Colby. <laughs> no, I mean like he says there are zero redeemable features of number eight. Eight, I, eight doesn't have anything good. Like the only thing I like is the. The one thing where they uh, hyperspace the um, ship through the other one, but it doesn't make physical sense, so it's like, okay. No. But, uh, well, what I tell people is like, no, I don't like 8, but I do like Grumpy Luke. I think Grumpy Luke's I hilarious. Like exactly, most people don't. <laughs> that's For me, that's the only redeeming feature is Grumpy Luke. But Mike was just like, I hated everything about that movie. Every single it second. Took <laughs> Everything we liked about those characters and just said, now nah, we're going to shit all over them. Well, yeah, well, he, <laughs> whoever w the director's name was, whatever that dipwad is, he's the one Brian that was. Johnson. Yeah. It's my personal vision. Your personal vision sucks. Yeah. It's really annoying mm -hmm. because at the beginning of the ninth one, you see the, the beginning of the ninth one, you go, wow, that should have been at the end of the eighth one and a whole different movie. But no, if if it had I gone. I love watching the ninth. Well, okay, I don't love watching the ninth one. I don't like the ninth one either. <laughs> but I think it's so funny how much runtime they had to go through to reverse what happened in the eighth one. Yeah, yeah. If they had if they had not switched over to Dick Wad, th it would have been a perfectly serv for serviceable series of movies. Mm -hmm. It really would not have been as bad as people as bad as it was received but because of dick wad and his dick vision it was so bad that people stood up and said i forgive you jar jar rose is worse and by people i mean me <laughs> i mean i didn't mind rose rose I thought she was a sucks fine character. ass rose has no point in existing becca she's terrible I thought Rose was a decent character. I think you're wrong. She was not utilized well, <laughs> but I think she was a decent character. <laughs> Tell me how many times you just randomly kiss some ex stormtrooper because whatever the hell she, she said. Okay, let me let me <laughs> qualify my statement. She was fine until the last battle of Episode Eight, and then they threw everything that made her character interesting out the window. You mean interesting by her sister died well she had this cool thing like she was like oh yeah i'm you know part of the resistance you know got this whole good reason good stuff but um yeah there was no good stuff there was no good stuff there. I'm, I'm going to allow you obi-wan i'm not going to allow you to walk away and say there's anything good about rose i thought rose was fine Becca. I pr in Becca, particular, it's Star Wars, and her name was Rose. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> it is Star Wars, and her name was Rose. That was like egregious oversight, and they never should have done that. Like the um, main character of the other ones was Princess Leia Organa of Onderon. Like, fucking kidding me, Rose? Better last name was Smith. <laughs> I don't even have. They don't even have bushes anymore. They're rose bushes. <laughs> no, what? What? What is a rose, Rose? Are you trying to imply that there's a planet Earth out there? 
Doesn't I love exist. how I got a shit ton of ancient stuff, and it's all garbage. Mm. All legendaries without abilities. Yep, that's what you get a lot of those. Yeah. It's interesting though, to note, though, that my sword actually does nothing. It's just a good sword. That's all. It's just does good damage, gives me good thorns, and gives me good attack speed. I'm just running around with a furnace. You have a giant knife designed to carve whales for steak. That's just a transmog. It's just a furnace. It's still the same thing. <laughs> I accept what I see, not what you tell me. I get to kind of sit here and be told that that's somehow a hammer. <laughs> it is a hammer. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to stand by and believe such blatant heresy. You think I'm going to cause an avalanche with a knife? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> you, you just have to and cut then, the snow then, really well. On the gradient, they a, say. And then use a skill called Hammer of the Ancients. I don't think so. No, you just have to cut the avalanche on the bias. <laughs> and it'll all fall apart because oh, it'll be oh, really so bias, tender. Bias, and soft. Fly avalanche. Okay. That's what I did for tacos. Cut it on the bias. Nobody ate those things in tacos. <sighs> no. You never eat steak and tacos. You can? You, no. But what I did create is an incredibly delicious appetizer. Yes, <laughs> That's the power, Becca, of the refrigerate refrigerator aged steak. That's oh. not. How did I just get smote upon the mountainside? I was too busy looking. By a fallen master? <laughs> Sorry, yes. Becca, you were saying something about my steak. I, I thought it was very good. That's good. Yes. I wish I could have found thicker cuts. That's the issue. Is. I should probably, whenever I do that, start just going up and having them butcher me specific cuts. Because you really want to have them, like, just, an inch thick. Just go to the counter. It's always yeah. easier. You want to get yourself a nice have, inch have thick sirloin. Good... Um, I prefer to die. You can get a... Good. T-bones That's are usually on terrible. sale. Nobody buys those, I guess. I, I don't know. It's a terrible. They're, okay. they're both steaks, and somehow they're worse together. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me how they did this. <laughs> yeah, Becca, I, I know like five things, and they all came from Alton Brown. And cooking the steaks, one of them. <laughs> but boy, oh, does it make the steak taste better. Mm. Ah. Oh no, I was dead by it. Ah. Been dead by a scavenger upon revival? I don't think so. <laughs> no, it happens to everyone. We all been down that road. Have you got steam yet, Casey? No. Got some of this game. We need steam. Uh, uh, so that we can play the other games that I want to play with you. What other games? There's like Barony, there's Grim Dawn, there's Path of Exile, there's Vermin Tide. Hmm? Dwarf game? There's Dwarf Game. We can play Dwarf Game. Casey might actually like Dwarf Game. Dwarf Game's pretty fun. Maybe if maybe if we force him. <laughs> I actively have a copy of Barony in my inventory, ready to ship. I think I have that one. It's the it's the like eight bit rogue like first person dungeon crawler. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Then we can play it. It's I've really goofy. It right. It's really goofy. <laughs> That's why it's funny. Oh, a new transmog. What is this? Here go. A mad uh, stone. I found the multiple face hat. Casey, do you want Eyes of the Earth? Oh, I have Eyes of the Earth. Is it any good? Well, I mean, it's an ancient one. Oh, hold on. I mean, so you, uh... you could, it could be upgraded later on in life. To become better. Yeah, let me see. I have the regular one on my head right now. Why are you so busy? I'm not busy. Do we have to wait for the Nephilim to close? It's nice that I was able to tell you my opinion on Obi Wan and you didn't like jump down my throat about it because. It's because I'm a good human being, Becca! 
Jesus None Christ. None of my friends agreed with me, but they also did not allow oh, me yeah. to have my opinion. <laughs> exactly. Listen, I thought it was fine. I haven't had that much time to digest it, but I'm not going to shit on your soul because you had an opinion, younger sister. <laughs> Perhaps third sister. <laughs> <laughs> Who was a pile of shit. kind of sucked. It was. Yeah. She had potential to have a good I, I background. I like She yeah. was really good in the Queen's Gambit, but like... She, they had good setup for her background, shit. but it's just kind of like... I kind of yeah. wish she would have just died from Vader. Yep. Instead of being like... Because it's like, why did she go after Luke? Yeah. What would even be the point? Yeah. She's like, Justice, you killed my friends who were kids, so I kill your friend that is kid. <laughs> like, and then Vader will friends? know. She didn't even know about Luke. Yeah. Like. You didn't want that, Casey? Oh, I do. I was. I had to get something to trade. Oh. <laughs> I see you don't need to unless you have that one amulet. Where you, I really don't need anything. To be honest with you. Which amulet was it again? Uh, let me go look. It's specific for a necromancer, so it's unlikely any of us picked it up. I mean, it, is well. it is called. It is called. It is. It is not even showing up in my box. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually have that many amulets. I got a ton of rings, but I should probably just dump them. I also have it a Roger Camber. It is called Wisdom of Kalan. Mm, nope. Wisdom of Coke. Interesting. Wisdom of Coca-Cola. All right, I'm going to buy 12 amulets and see how butt-fucked this lady gives gets me. Someday, uh, you you hot wench Give me an eyeball and Kimbo's gold which I literally just found in the depths woman in the depths uh, let's go for in the dippy depths uh. speaking of I, uh, I need to go get a new sippy <laughs> oh my god compass rose Crap, get out of. I also refill my sippy drink. The hip hop and the don't stop hopping, Halcyon's whatever. Oh my god. At least they, at least at this level, we don't have to worry about doing Kane's set runs. Because everything just drops three whichevers anyway. It's a fairly decent return rate. I say, did I ever. Did I ever do Kane's run? <laughs> I used to. I used to. I'd have it. I'd just lower the difficulty and go run through with Kane's stuff to farm for Death's Breath. Oh, you. Zoltan Cool, you too? I thought I could trust you. There's all shit on my dreams. I get rid of all these necklaces that are just garbage. I'll just put them on my pony. Bling. Okay, I have uh, uh, old chart. I gotta put my chart chips away. Chippy chips. Chippy chips. My chips. Who just throwing belts poker? on the floor? Huh? Oh, that was me. Sorry. Break them down like a proper. Recycle, you shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think this is? I want that belt to trade with you. <laughs> I don't, we don't. Stop. Just accept it. Just take it for what it is. You big hog waller. Actually, before we go in, Lord Demos, give me a moment. Momenting. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Yes, all right. I have returned to go into the rift. A drift. A drift. I am a drift in the rift of Dread Judge's dream. How many times now, must I see this scene? Have you guys seen Dune? Uh oh. Because that <coughs> is a movie I very much enjoyed. Not yet. I did hear it was good. It's Despite not having fantastic. metal underpants. <laughs> um, you know yeah, of the metal great, underpants. And I'm very correct? excited for the second one. You, you understand the significance of the pantaloons. Oh, what was there? A creature of fast over here? <laughs> yeah, there's there a there's a, a gobbo. So I I, I don't really fast. there there is nothing no it's no significance. It's just in the first movie of Dune, there was a guy who showed up wearing metal underpants. Oh, I see. Yeah, 
It's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, I haven't ah, seen the original, ah, ah. just the new. The I've new seen one. it perhaps once, and most of it has been forgotten. However, the internet frequently reminds me of the pantaloons. It's like it's like the the never ending story. How what's his face was in there and had just like a massive bulge in his leather pants, and he was always thrusting it at a little girl. Some things never leave you. Like and, the labyrinth. Oh, the labyrinth. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, not the never ending story. Yeah. That's the one with the flying dog. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, the labyrinth was, uh, yeah, was, was, was the really creepy pedophile who, non, who non tried to trip. Yeah. The other one was the dog that flew, which soon became the inspiration for a little show called Avatar. Hmm. They never admitted it, though. Cowards. <laughs> Avatar the Last Airbender? Yeah. <laughs> it's not, but they, but they have a flying dog. <laughs> They, they have flying bison. <laughs> it's a flying dog. All right. It's a bison. Let's let's not beat around the but bush. It's a great show though. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Let's not let's not get bogged around what film created which film. About uh, who just the fact flew that these who? butterflies are killing. Hello! Them. Get over here, Casey. Business is on. Ah, uh, but there was champions over here. I'm coming. Uh, I think we got him. Infinite em. loot over here. I think we got him. There. Don't worry, the, the butter, butterflies are following me. I'm sorry. They're killing me, dude. What? Who, butterflies. Who even picks up blue shit? All right. I do. I gotta head home. I'm already full. I gotta, I gotta make a trip. Oh no. Oh no, I'm full. Blue. That was some fat loot, Sonny. Blue. New transmog? What is that? It's for a barbarian. Remorseless. A barbar. Huh? Remorseless? Oh, yeah, I have that uh, as a primal. While both Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients are active, Hammer of the Ancient deals 794% increased. 794? What kind of garbage is that? Becca does like 40k more because of her stupid cloak. I know, it's it's It's, it's disgusting. Terrible. Hey, how's it going? Your build is silly. <laughs> oh, look, I got, I got a Remorseless too. Oh, weird. Uh, way to the earth, another set of way Ooh, to the earth. Ooh, primal uh, How much does yours give, Becca? What's your big boost what? for damage? Um, my While I have a melee weapon, my damage is increased by 6,000, and then my <sighs> impale does 75,000% weapon damage to the first enemy hit, and 25,000 yeah, to subsequent enemies. See, I get, I get six, I get 67.5% 67.5k percent of my thorns damage is my big boost. I got a primal ancient quiver that I'll probably never use. <laughs> I got a primal well, ancient quiver. It's just an old if, bag with a stick in it. <laughs> this is unless I can get a primal ancient holy point shot, I, I, there's no reason. <laughs> All I'm saying is that primal ancient doesn't actually make something better because le legitimately, if it was a primal ancient quiver, it would actually just be a bag with a stick in it. It's like, this is the first arrow and the first bag that held said arrow. <laughs> He's just some some caveman. <laughs> Ookabook. <laughs> but it has been imbued with great power and significance. Oh my god. book Twang. I don't, I don't even know how my set causes any sort of damage whatsoever. <laughs> but you don't read? <laughs> just case it just puts shinies on it and it works. No, no, I, I read, but like, looking at like the damage oh, bonuses, they're thought not. Oh, he was over they're, here. They're, Oops. They're, they're not even close to. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, more. Oh, was, was that the thing? Oh, that was the, that was the guy. Oh. Yeah, that was that was the thing. That was the whole thing, Becca? What? <laughs> I don't know what happened. The, it's these damn little sand wasp things. They are deceptively dangerous. It's the, it's missiles. Nothing, nothing, no amount of defense ever helps with missiles. Nope. Yeah, my, uh, my, my set bonus is not very impressive in any way, shape, or form, but somehow it, it did me very well. It's like, okay, so Furious Charge refunds a charge if it only hits one enemy, and then 
gains the effect of every rune and deals a thousand percent increased damage. And then for every one percent life I'm missing, my ancient spear damage is increased by two percent, which I don't use. No, because two percent is garbage. And, and I don't use the six set bonus of Rakers, so I go to Immortal Kings and I get Call of the Ancients last until they die. And then I reduce the cooldown of Wrath of the Berserker by three seconds for every ten fury spent. And then while I'm in Wrath of the Berserker, and while Call of the Ancients is active, I deal 4,000 increased damage. It's not really, like, huge numbers. It just it just adds up. I, I think the way that it works is the fact that I can Furious Charge all the time, and I stun the enemies so they can't hit me. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Yeah, Mine's pretty straightforward. That, it's just that whole thing. I just hit things, and then I have I have, escalate. I have some. I just got some Roland's pants. Mm. Oh, that's mm. just the that's, worst that's Paladin just set. Okay. I mean Crusader yeah, set. That's, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, okay. It's the worst so, Crusader uh, set. It's it terrible. it's only good for doing low level farming. It's only good at that. Uh. Like this one's really good in like a crowd control setting if I can keep moving. And there's lots of critters in the way, but uh, otherwise. So I'm starting to see with all the barbarian sets, which is kind of crazy. Well, you do one thing and you do it well. Bar Barbara librarians. But I mean, the good news is, is that like. If I play this correctly, I can basically keep Wrath and Berserker up the entire time. Because I can spam the shit out of Fury spending attacks like an Ancient Spear that dumps all of my Fury, but then I run out of charge with the number of people, and then I can't charge anymore, and then I get stuck in traffic, and I can't do anything. My, mine is all about, mine's just hit things and then escalate as needed. So I, I use the Provoke, Taunts Enemies, which is a impairment. So my gem procs on that, and I get a boost to taunt it to doing damage to taunted enemies. I've got uh, the steel iron skin, which while it's active, my attackers take extra thorns. So, and it also gives me extra armor, which also amplifies thorn damage that I do. And then my big guy thing—it's not a hardly even anything like that. It's just. It's just got the Prophet rune, which gives me a fatal uh, death pause. It's just mm. nice. I don't really have to worry about too much. I just click. It's the classic click. Well, usually that's all I have to worry about. When greater Rifts is just click, 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 spamming click, click. furious charge. I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> but yeah. The, ge the general the general rule is jump into pile taunt steel skin bash and then the the other ones are if I start taking too much damage which I tend to do because one of my other passives does not let me dodge because when I block I get re reduced cooldown dodge yeah yeah my shield it wants me to block things because it has a quarter chance to 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 reduce dodge. cooldowns. And so I don't block. I mean, I don't dodge. I only block. I think I'm on a different level than you guys. Well, uh, Casey is far north. Becca is far south. And I am in the middle. <laughs> I'm now far dead. Is None of us are anywhere near each other. I just got to oh. teleport. I could just kill the Rift Guard. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Ah. Wait, what? I didn't even notice. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hold on. Ugh, I have to go to town and repair because I just died. I was really busy talking about how I smack smack. Screw those guys. Oh, yeah, Becca, you are. Your ice caves of Seshiron. Mm -hmm. Hold on, it's just kind of proud. Hold on, I'm gonna teleport to you or see what happens if we transport at the same time. Ha! Ah. I hadn't done it. <laughs> Trying to do some time sensitive thing.
Oh. Jerk nugget. You guys get all of the stuff? Do you need well, me to I stay did. here? Casey, did you get yours? I got mine. I, I'm out right. killing more of these stupid creatures that killed me before. I must I must kill it in order to survive. Why is it so tough? Why, Becca, why you have to let him just... avenge his fallen self. Why does it keep killing also, me? Just How close the rift because he's never going to be able to kill it. Close the rift, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> I got new trans box. Oh, wizard boots. Electrified dragon up frozen pulse or disc. What is this? Thing was invincible. Close the rift. <laughs> this thing is bullshit. <laughs> Close the rift. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Dario's hat. They nerfed all of my all of my barb bills. Now they're now they're just terrible. <laughs> Surprised they don't have like a demon hunter build that's just all Andarial, and it just makes you naked. Nah, we got more it, class than that. It just gives gain, you nipple rings. Gain plus 40,000% um, defense and plus 90,000% damage for the, the more number of clothes you're missing. For stacks of lewd. Yes. Uh, furious nude stacks. Perfect. All right. What, what, can, I, what, can, I, what can I upgrade? Ow! I need something better. Something greater. Something greater than me. And all of those are terrible. Thanks, Kadala. Piece of shit. <laughs> Your father was a stanky old drunk. And so what can I do? I can just throw like a two-handed weapon in there that's regular and change it to a legendary. One legendary. What item. are you trying to achieve? I don't know. So it's if you take a yellow... Oh, it reforges the same weapon. No, so go to uh, Hope of Cain, which is number three out of ten. Mm -hmm. Fill that, and then put a Wait. yellow level seventy rare in there and do it. So if I want a mighty weapon, though, it has to be a mighty weapon. Yeah. In order to gain a mm -hmm. similar. So it will upgrade weapon. it to a random legendary mighty weapon, which it includes Ugh. the the gold or green. So that's why I said you just go over to something. You either do what you did or you go over to Hadrig and just make like 10 Ugh. random things and go upgrade them shits. Ugh. All right. The worst. How far are you willing to go for greatness? I don't want the gavel of judgment. I've had it. Speaking of that weird voice. I was pissed off that the Grand Inquisitor got killed and wasn't in the whole show for long. I love that guy. Back, you yeah. Know, in the stupidest way possible. Yeah. Because apparently getting stabbed in the stomach doesn't. It doesn't matter make at all. You die. It, it doesn't <laughs> kill you unless you're Han Solo. Yep. Apparently. That is true. But yeah, he that guy is like my my soul soul beast. See, it's like, I liked all of the Inquisitors except for the third sister. She was yep. fucking annoying. <laughs> even even Grumpy Asian Man. Grumpy Asian Man was great. Even though he all he did was even go, he's got hey, the hey, dumbest hey, hey, hat hey, I've hey. ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck is stupid hat? <laughs> but the actual yeah, Grand but... Inquisitor, he's like my spirit animal. And whenever I talk like an evil asshole, it always talks like him. That's I was like, oh, look, it's me. <laughs> It's my necromancer in D&D. Hello. <laughs> Bad sister. Straight up, I will DM D&D &D for you guys if you want to try. No, it, you I won't. Think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! No, it's even worse when it happens to me. People love me. I'm that, beautiful. That was another Shooter thing, guy. though, with, with Obi-Wan. It's like, okay, so in episode four, Luke has never once heard of inquisitors or jedi no. or like that like was they that, are myths they are literal yeah. myths but the he issue, was kidnapped by an inquisitor yeah the issue 10. is is that there's so much that is not in the movies because the movies were the first iteration of star wars that's it and so oh, they added all this other cool stuff and we're yep. like oh and then they reintroduce it and they just don't do a good job it ruins it i don't know i just like even even if you know you iterate over Star Wars, okay, fine. 
but if I want to do a marathon of Star Wars and the timeline doesn't make any fucking sense, mm -hmm. that's gonna really pull me out of it. You know? You know? It do it doesn't make sense that within the time frame of like Obi Wan and then the and then a New Hope that the Inquisitors just stop showing up. Yep. It's like, did they die shortly thereafter? Like, what? No, like he's, the whole time all of that's going on, Darth Vader is actively running around and killing people. He's still doing that. It's happening all over the place. So, way down, by the way. so it just, yeah. It's just, ah, there it is. Give me the pylon. Ah! Must construct additional pylons. Oh, hey, Becca. Oh! How many, how many people can do co-op uh, StarCraft? Squishy. Crap. Eight. Yeah. Oh, so we can uh, have Casey play co-op well, StarCraft. Well, not like the co-op mode, like the actual thing. Oh. We can just do a Never custom mind. game. Never mind. No, it's not fun anymore. If it's if it's the actual co-op mode, then just two. Oh, I'll just have to do it with Casey. You're, you'll, you can't deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how you to control can. him. You can't ah, control I'll him. Just play like do a custom game. They've got plenty of like modifications you can put on um i watched make, like, uh there's a group of people things. that i watch who do stuff and they don't really do starcraft or anything like that at all it's generally just, not their just, the group's just bag FYI, i have i have two champion packs over here that i'm trying to torch yeah we we got one too we got one too it's okay it's okay it's Casey. Like we understand in between all of us but so. they but they did a somebody had I, they played, they did a marathon for like eight hours a couple of times where they did a whole bunch of uh, ah, World of War, not World of Warcraft, uh, Warcraft 3 custom maps and StarCraft custom maps. And they did one on StarCraft 2 that was the thing that somebody had made and it was a full on like deceptive trader game built into this thing. It was insane. Oh, yeah. It was really cool. Because the, the one person becomes the thing, and they actually get to transform between a normal person and the thing, <laughs> and s spawn enemies, <laughs> and you have to cheat and lie and trick people and shit. It was really cool. Yeah, if you guys just want to do like a team game against some like hard some absolute AIs, that'd be fun. No, no, AIs are super easy. You just, you just, uh, you just <laughs> cannon rush them. you put them on the cheater mode. <laughs> You can put them on cheater mode? Yes. <laughs> but do they actually like, know how to do all the shitty little techniques then? They they get all of the um like the cheat codes on basically. They oh. get like insta build, they get ma major resources, their you know, their uh, actions per minute is like set at like eight hundred, so they're constantly doing shit. Like <laughs> mm. I I just it's I insane. I got to like the full top level with Protoss really quick because they don't know how to handle uh, the the Proton the cannon, cannon rush. rush. Yeah, you can cannon rush them and they don't know how to handle it. They just lose Most their minds. They're like, oh my god, yeah. oh my god, everything's falling apart. It's like it's such apart. a simple um, strat, but it's actually <laughs> kind of difficult to uh, defend against if you're not prepared it's, for it. It's absolute and I don't shit. even really know how to defend against it. So. You, you just have to catch it. That's it. You just have yep, to. You just gotta be. Have to luck out and see the guy moving in so you can kill the probe. Because if the cannon drops, your probe's never getting in there ever again. Nope. Don't come over here, Casey. I'm surprised they still show armor at this point. Died so many times. How is this possible? We're almost there. 99%. I'm trying to tie the knot. just terrible. Ready? Oh, oh, watch out for his big swing. It will one shot your ass. It will absolute one shot you to oblivion. I keep him frozen. Yes, yes, yes. Into the shadow realm. It cannot hurt you if you cannot move. I believe, friends, we have done an 85. <laughs> and that felt like Casey and I doing a 92. <laughs> 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 
That was fucking rough bananas. I hate it when all of my upgrades fail. <laughs> oh, bless my beating heart. My Borski's chip. I have a 4% chance. I still have a 100% chance. Oh, I can get my Bane of the Stricken up a little bit, though. Good crap. How many of the stupid mouse things do I need? <laughs> mouse things? The little mouse amulet, Halcyon's Ascent. Oh, yeah, I found about 18,000 of those recently. Bottomless Potion of the Unfettered. Oh. I'm returning to town. I do not... Uh, I think, think that... Yeah, I gotta go to bed here. What? That was not what I was going to say, Becca. Well, that's <laughs> what I'm going to say. You fool! I, I said I think I need to get the other character back out with the stompies, because he does good. Yeah. See? See? She cannot to to handle bed, the though. truth. She cannot handle the power. Work in the morning and... <laughs> Not teleworking. Will very willing to let to get a job with this place now because all of the stupid Utah <laughs> holidays are they can have those off. <laughs> One of the women who works in our department, Megan, she works fully remote from Florida. <laughs> she's like this is awesome for her because she's in Florida, but she still gets the day off. She gets Utah holidays. Yeah. Nice. Because they run off of uh Utah law. Cool. Well, fine. I guess we'll call it an evening. Sorry. Gotta get ready for bed. Alright. And just so. I guess cool. I'll just loop the lane on my own. <laughs> Doodles. Goodbye, folks. Good Goodbye, the sword, what? <laughs> do do. All right, folks. Thanks for coming out. We're kind of a little short, but not everybody gets the day off. Hope you had a good time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye bye.